For this lesson, we don't really have a topology because everything's going to take place on the same device. Once again, we're using a Nexus 7000 and we're going to configure inter-VLAN routing. In order to configure inter-VLAN routing, we need to turn the feature on. Once again, most features are off by default in the Cisco NXOS software. So to be able to use this feature, the first thing we need to do is type feature interface VLAN. Now if you're ever wondering which features are enabled or are not enabled, you can just say show feature. Here it shows me which features are or are not enabled. So I've now enabled my interface VLAN. I need to create two VLANs so that I can route between them. In order to create the VLANs, I type in VLAN and the VLAN number. I can now give the VLAN a name if I want to, but instead I'm just going to exit out and create a second VLAN. I'll exit out one more time. I've now created two different VLANs. These VLANs are created at layer 2. If I want to create a layer 3 routed interface for those VLANs, I simply type interface VLAN 105. I'm now in a routed port mode where I can assign an IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and assign an IP address by saying IP address and I'm just going to use a made up number 1.1.1.1 slash 24. I've now assigned an IP address to the routed interface on VLAN 105. I'm going to do the same thing to VLAN 106. Interface VLAN 106. I now put an IP address on this interface slash 24. I would never use these IP addresses normal and I should be all set to go. Let's take a look. Show interface brief and as I scroll down I can see that at the very bottom I've got two interfaces that should be up but they're down. What did I miss? Well, I missed doing a no shut on those interfaces. By default, these interface VLANs are shut down. So we can go interface VLAN 105, no shut, and then exit. Interface VLAN 106, no shut, exit. And now when I do my show interface brief, I can see and I'm just pressing the space bar to scroll down by the way, but I can see that VLAN 105 is up and VLAN 106 is up as well. If I try to ping those interfaces 1.1.1.1 on VLAN 105, that comes back successful. You can do the same thing for VLAN 2.2.2.2. I now see those interfaces are up and they're ready to route traffic. As a matter of fact, if I do a show IP route, I now see those networks in my routing table. So if I had hosts on that network and I was using 1.1.1 for the gateway, I could then get to network 2.2.2.0. Thank you for joining me. This completes lesson 12.